This is question six. Here I'm asked to work out an estimate for the value of 6.8 multiplied by 191 divided by 0.051. Key thing here is I'm asked to estimate. Now, in order to estimate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round each of these values to one significant figure. And by doing that, that will allow me to calculate with far easier numbers. So 6.8 to one significant figure is going to be 7. 191 to one significant figure is going to be 200. And 0.051 to one significant figure is going to be 0.05. So just to clarify what I've done here, I've rounded each to one significant figure. And what that means is it simply means representing each of these numbers with one digit um, that is not a zero. So how can I represent 6.8 using only one digit? Well, that the easiest way to represent 6.8 would be to call that 7. Using only one digit that's not a zero, how could I represent 191? That would be 200. So using only one digit, the 2, and then two zeros. And then 0 0.051, how could I represent this using only one digit that's not a zero? That would be 0 0.05. OK, so just to clarify what's happened there, all that I then need to do is make the calculation now. 7 times 200, I'm going to do this part first, that's going to give me 1,400. And I'm dividing this by 0.05. So this is the, the tricky part, dividing by 0.05. Lots of different ways that you can think about this. One way in which you could do it is you could think about how many 0.05s fit into just one. And then multiply that by 1,400. Or what you could do is you could make an equivalent division. So to make an equivalent division, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just multiply the number that I'm dividing by so that it is a whole number. So what would I need to multiply 0 0.05 so that it is a whole number? I could multiply that by 100. So if I multiply this by 100, that gives me 5. If I multiply the top by 100 as well, then that's going to give me uh, 140,000. So now I'm doing 140,000 divided by 5. So this is simply an equivalent division. We do this with uh, fractions. We chain whatever we've multiplied the number on top by. We also do to the, the bottom as well. Uh, similarly, if we simplify them, we whatever we do to the top. So if we divide that number on the top by... 100 we would divide the number on the bottom by 100 to make it equivalent so these two are just equivalent divisions and then all that I'm going to do is do uh, 140,000 divided by 5 this is a non calculator paper if it helps you could draw out a bus stop using the bus stop method for this and say that this is 5 uh, how many fives fit into 1 0 how many fives fit into 14 then? You can say that that is 2 uh, with a remainder of 4. How many fives fit into 40? 8, 0, 0, and 0. So my answer here is going to be 28,000. As I was saying a moment ago, the other way that you could think about this is you could think about how many 0 0.05s fit into just 1. And we can say that there are 20 0.05s in 1. And so to get this answer, I could have also done 20 multiplied by 1,400. And that would have given me exactly the same answer of 28,000.